One of the best deals in the Hamptons can be found on Shelter Island here at the Perlman Music Program, which offers free concerts to the public every Friday and Saturday night. The Perlman Music Program takes its name from founders Itzak and Toby Perlman, who actually met at a camp themselves almost 40 years ago. We met at a summer music program, which bears it's still in existence, which bears some similarity to the Perlman Music Program, but not much. No? No, because that summer music program was very strict. It had a, it, it had a kind of what I consider to be old-fashioned point of view about education, about kids. We are of the 21st century, so we have different kind of feeling, which is that we believe in hard work, but we believe in playing hard too and having fun, so we do both. So have you had anyone, say, from the earlier classes go on to do, I'm sure they all do great things, but anybody sort of notable? Well, no, they're, they're, all, uh, they're all doing very well in music. Uh, some have managements, uh, uh, but we're not, we're not here for that. Yeah. We're here for, uh, to make them better people, uh, to change their lives, and that's what we do. you guys to make this free and accessible to the community? Well, for me personally, it was very important. Very important. I, I never considered doing it any other way. This is a school, and the minute you charge a, a ticket price, the expectation is for professionalism, and we're not professionals. So, you know, our youngest students are 12 years old, in sixth grade, some of them. Just one of them, two of them just finished sixth grade. You know, we can't put that kind of pressure on them. We, we have, there is pressure here for excellence. We're dealing with a kind of rarefied child. You know, they are coming from everywhere. They're the best of the best of the best. They live in pressure cookers to begin with. The last thing we want is more pressure. We encourage lack of competition. Support your colleague. Uh, as an example, in, the, in an orchestra, nobody sits in the same seat twice. We all rotate. Every piece, I, I make different orders. So that there's no such thing as, you know, I'm the best, therefore I'm, play I'm sitting here, and I'm the worst, because, therefore I'm sitting there, you know. It's just everybody, and everybody has to sort of really support their friends. When we have the concerts, the works in progress, uh, twice a week on Fridays and Saturdays, Everybody has to be at the concert to support their friends. As far as I'm concerned, we not only have here future uh, uh, musicians, uh, whether they're players, chamber players, orchestra players, but we also have here future teachers, which are, of course, the most important thing in society are the teachers. And uh, if you have wonderful teachers, then you have wonderful players. You know, to be a teacher is just as virtuoso kind of a profession as it is to be a concert violinist, a cellist, a violist, a pianist, or whatever it is. You know, can you talk about your role as a teacher? Because, you know, throughout your life, you're such a prolific, obviously, performer, but you've been teaching your entire career. I mean, yeah, I've been teaching uh, quite a few years. Yeah, quite a few years, yes. And, and I must tell you that I find that uh, it has helped me so much in my own playing and that's what I said to my kids and my students I said if you if you teach part of your brain a different part of your brain has to be active uh, you have to listen differently and as a result what happens is that when you perform yourself your attitude is different and all of a sudden you say wait a second I hear something differently than than when I just play and that's why I say the teaching and so I always encourage the kids no matter how young or old they are to always have some sort of an experience in teaching while they practice while they do it because their the attitude your own attitude towards your own playing changes dramatically when you yourself teach such a big 
promoter of classical music, and it's something that could, I mean, I think, is it harder and harder to fall to get, you know, to sustain and to get sort of, you know, raise money and awareness and... Well, it's always hard, you know, it's always hard. But the thing is that when you have good quality, the audience knows it. Yeah. The audience knows it. You know, sometimes orchestras struggle. They get the dynamic conductor and the audience goes nuts. They just know it. I have a lot of belief in the audience. You know, and you know, people say, oh, what do they know? Well, maybe they don't know to a particular technical point, or, but they know what they hear. They know what they experience from the stage. So every Friday and Saturday night, you can come here to the Perlman Music Program on Shelter Island and enjoy a free concert and a gorgeous sunset. I'm Robin Moreno with Plum TV.